Have you ever gotten ready to play a game or something and you just notice the moment you start it, there's a fucking, like, giant smudge on your screen? There's like a mark on my fucking computer screen. I have no idea where it came from. I gotta wipe it off now. I had to stay quiet during that whole entire intro while I was just staring at that fucking mark on my screen. Anyways, oh wow. Good job, me. The first, not even a minute, not even a minute into the, mm, not even a minute into the playthrough. And I already, I already threw a fucking swear word in there. Great, great. I just can't help myself. All right, anyways. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything in between, to a Pokemon Snap for the N64. Oh boy, how am I excited for this playthrough? Mainly for the fact that, yes, this is my childhood, and I'm going to be pretty honest with you guys, you know, I'm, uh, I'm playing it, you know, I'm... Don't tell Nintendo, but I'm emulating it, okay? But I do, on my N64, I do have the cartridge. And I was debating whether to play it, you know, on the cartridge or not, right? But then I was like, fuck it! You know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna enjoy my high-res Pokemon Snap. Right? So anyways, screen. There's screen options for this? I don't even remember that. And Oh, I do remember this. Oh, wow. I remember that you could do this in the N64. Jesus. I forgot everything about this. New game. Okay, so what's our name gonna be? Obviously, you gotta go with the classic, right? My name is Todd. Todd Snap. Right? Since now, Todd is canon in the Pokemon universe. I mean, he's been canon for a while, but before Japan called him Snap, in the US we called him Todd, nobody really knew what the fuck they were doing, so, eh, you know. Now, to be fair, there might be some screen tearing in this, right? I, I honestly haven't tested out this emulation for it, but apparently there is some plugin issues for this, so, you know, it can go good, it can go bad. Oh my god, Professor Oak, how I fucking hate you. Because every goddamn time I played this game as a kid, I would feel so sad every time Professor Oak would look at me and go, You are close! And I'm like, shut the fuck. I fucking hate you. Anyways, hello there, Todd. I'm Professor Oak, the Pokemon Prof. The reason I invited you here is, th is this Pokemon report. And that's the only reason I invited a little child to my laboratory where no one is here. My assistants are gone for the weekend, so, you know, just just throw that out there. Anyways, I'd like for you to take a picture of Pokemon for the Pokemon report. For the Pokemon report. Here on Pokemon Island, wild Pokemon can be found everywhere. This is my new invention, the Zero One vehicle. You can take this on your trip. The Zero One vehicle con uh, what? consistently moves forward uh, to the Gold Gate. Shall I repeat this information? No. I'll teach you how to take pictures in the first course. I'm counting on you, Todd. So, Pokemon Snap. It's a very short game, right? Um, oh shit, I completely forgot about my notes. <laughs> oh, where's my... Oh, here it is. Every time I bring up my notes in the Pokemon Marathon, I have to, like, consistently say how I don't know where I put them, and then I have to look for them because I forget to take them out before the start of the video, right? So nothing, nothing crazy, you know, for, for those who are just watching the Pokemon Snap playthrough, hello, you are in the middle of a Pokemon Marathon, or at least what I tried to do, or call a Pokemon Marathon, right? Um, basically, I, fuck, I'm trying to flip through the pages with one hand, it's not working, it's not working out, right? I'm gonna tell you that right now, you know? I'm gonna end up making this playthrough longer than it has to be because I'm fucking around with this with these notes. Let me put the controller down. Let me do that. Controller, go down. Don't fall off my lap. If you do, I'll cry. Uh, no, that's where the. F oh, here they are. All right, cool. <laughs> Sorry about the wait. Right. So basically, Pokemon Snap. Right. You know. So. You just finished playing Pokemon the trading card game. You're a little Japanese kid, right? You know, 19, what was it, 19, 1998? December 18th, I think that was the trading card game, right? Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's right there on my nose. And then, oh wait, no. Wait, yeah, it was not, wait, what? What am I looking at right now? 
Did I write these in wrong? Oh shit, I might have. Huh. Did Pokemon? Wait, hold up. Pokemon Snap came out before trading card game? Oh, well then I fucked up. Yikes, I should have switched that around. Well anyways, you know, March 21st, 1998, in Japan, Pokemon Snap came out. That's all you need to know. Way There you go. You want to learn more bullshit, go watch Did You Know Gaming, because I'm not them, right? Anyways, let's get started. Yes. Oops, I guess I put the videos out of order because I wasn't paying attention. Anyways, Pokemon Snap. It's just as the game says. You take pictures of Pokemon. Just like that, right? So, your goal here, you know, game's a bit of a puzzle game, little adventure game, nothing that serious, right? You take pictures of your Pokemon. I believe there's a total of 63 Pokemon, right? 63, uh, try to take a lot of pictures. Yeah, I think there's a total of... Oh, shit, why is the sensitivity so strong? I should fix that later. Uh, and it's inverted. Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Just like, just like the N64. Right? Um, so... What the hell was I trying to say? Um, I lost my train of thought. Look at that skybox. Look how you can clearly see it. There we go, Lapras, I gotcha. That means you're gonna come closer to me now. So yeah, there's a total of 63 Pokemon in this game. And I think there was 64... Oh, that's probably some of the plug-in problems right there. Yeah, that's probably some of the fucked up JPEGs. Well, we're gonna see that throughout the playthrough. But I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather have fun with a high-res version of the game, right? Did the Wii version... Did the Wii Shop version of this have, like... Was the game high-res? Was it up -res? Come on, get out. Get out of here. Turn here, you get Lapras, it gets a little bit closer. And then you get another opportunity to take a picture of it. So I believe there was 64 Pokemon in total. I think one of them was Ekans. But then I guess some for some reason that Pokemon got cut. Get closer. Come on, Lapras, get closer. I know you're here. Where are you? Oh, you're supposed to be there. Oh, you're- what the hell? You're all the way over there, Lapras. I'm having, like, a hard time here. And I think I- I think there might be another- <laughs> Wow, maybe this game has a little bit more gra graphical glitches than I thought, you know? Because I- I think the, uh- Oh, look how close it is! I think the, um... I think the reticle is supposed to turn red. <laughs> when you have a Pokemon in the center. But you know what? Fuck it. I don't care right so anyways you have your film up top in the corner there if you run out basically it's game over uh and game over in the sense that the course just ends because you oh i forgot damn it we'll get a picture of that later there's supposed to be a magic card somewhere i think i gotta throw like an apple into the water or some bullshit anyways pretty much that's the gist of pokemon snap right everything you just saw you get some items later on to help you uh you know, to help you find more Pokemon, find more paths, and stuff like that. But overall, Pokemon Snap, it's a pretty short game, right? Full of nothing, but... I guess this is how I'll explain it, right? If you saw... Here's a little bit of a self-plug. If you if you saw my playthroughs for Jimmy Neutron, or the Scooby-Doo games, or, um, or Ratatouille, right? You know, those, like, those licensed games, this is kind of the same deal, right? I mean, it is made by Pokemon Company, right? And, uh, and, uh, Howl's, right? But, um, for the most part, this is just a feel-good game. It's what I call a feel-good game, where you don't have to worry about anything. You're just playing the game, and you're just having fun, right? Doesn't matter how hard you go. Doesn't matter what you're doing. You can close your eyes, have fun, wrap up in a blanket, it, turn off the lights, have a cup of water next to you or like hot chocolate maybe some cookies or some shit like just really the whole nine yards you know and just feel good the entire time i don't i don't think there's anyone in the history of ever who's played pokemon snap for the n64 and has had a bad time in the sense of like they may not like the game right but um you know they may not like the game but i don't think anyone ever sat here and been like man i fucking hate this game it's bullshit, right? So anyways, once you're done, 
with the level, you're basically going to go through your Pokemon catalog and pick what you think is the best photo for Oak to, for Professor Oak to, um, score for you. And then he's going to add it to his official Pokemon records. Now, of course, later on, you can re return to uh, other, you know, return to the courses and take better pictures when you have more items to get them ready for what you want to do. But for now, that's all we have. So once you're done, go down to Professor Oak, and then you get to hear Todd say the most satisfying words ever. Yes. Yes. Hmm. What's new this time? Let's see. This is a Pidgey. How's the size? Hmm. It's so-so. How's the pose? All right. It's very nice. How's the technique? Okay. The Pokemon is right in the middle of the frame. I can double that score for you. Wow. There's other Pidgey in the picture. I'll give you an extra 220 points. Wonderful. Wonderful. Can you tell? Can you tell that I'm that I'm like really happy to be playing this right now? That like this isn't me like playing. I'm not someone who plays up videos and go like, oh my god, look at this. wow, I can't believe it, right? But right now, I got a smile from ear to ear, right? So we got Pikachu, right? Let me see. This is a Pikachu. Everybody knows who that guy is. That's the size. It's whatever. That's the pose. Mm, yeah. That's the technique. Okay, Pokemon's right in the middle of the frame. You got it in one go. I'll double that for you. Wonderful. Impeccable. The Duduo. Let me see this Duduo. For some reason, there's an ice cream truck right outside my window now. Oh my god, it's just like I'm a kid again. How's the size? Ah, uh, kind of shit. Close. You were close. <laughs> Get used to hearing that a lot. Butterfree. I love Butterfree. How's the size? Eh, 340 points. How's the pose? Eh, it's okay. How's the technique? Alright, Pokemon's in the middle of the frame. I'll double that. And there's another one in there. Cool. I'll give you extra. Wonderful. Wonderful. Meowth. Size gotta be good, right? He means so so. He's right there. I mean, you don't see his face, but you know. Pose. Yeah, okay. Technique. It's in the middle of the frame. I mean, you can't miss it. Wonderful. King is Khan. How's the size? Eh, it's whatever. The pose? It's shitty. <laughs> yeah, okay, I deserve that. A lap. Listen, I better get all the points for this. If I was if I was good enough, I would get three Laprases in this picture, I think. Let me see that Lapras, dude. The size? So, so. You're never gonna get a good size with Lapras. I don't think you are, right? Because Lapras is, like, the way Lapras is intended in this game- Intended? Is that the word? The way Lapras is, is presented in this game is that it's kind of like the Loch Ness Monster. I mean, it is based off the Loch Ness Monster and I, whatever the fuck the other dinosaur is called. Polydiosaur or some bullshit? I don't fucking know. You know what I mean. The water dinosaur or whatever. So, to kind of poke fun at that, in order to get a good picture of Lapras, you gotta get good multiple pictures of it for, so it can get closer. How's the pose? It's relaxed. Get a thousand points. Technique? All right. Pokemon's right in the middle. There's one right behind it, too. Wow. Wow. There's another Lapras. Somebody, somebody fucking hire me to go take a picture of the Loch Ness Monster. Right? All right. That's for today. Wait, Todd. Let's return t to the lab. I got something for you. I saw the pictures taken by Todd. Why'd you say it like that? What? <laughs> Imagine if I walked up to you, and let's say your name is, I don't know, Tommy, and then instead of saying, man, Tommy, I saw the pictures you took, I went like, yo, man, you see these pictures taken by Tommy? Tommy did a great job about this. <laughs> you know? Save those pictures in my Pikmin report. I'll help you out once you have more Pokemon pictures. Good luck, Todd. Oh, I arranged so that you can see the report anytime. All right, cool. So if you ever need to check the report, you head here, you see your best shots, they line it up for you. Right now our best shot is this fucking tutorial shot, which sucks. Your goal is to get a better shot than that. And that's mainly your goal. You got two goals in this game. Three goals. Finish the game. Get a better shot than the tutorial shot. And... I don't know, what's the third goal? I forgot. Fuck, I had it in my head and then I lost it. Oh, and uh, get a picture for all the Pokemon, all, all uh, 63. Right? So head to course. Todd can now go to the next course. Yeah. yeah! Yes! Yes! I love this. I love this game. 
Do you love this game? I love this game. Now, over here, if you get fuck, if you get Pikachu in the middle, he starts doing this shit. Right? Oh, Pikachu. You angered it so much that it killed itself. Oh, Kakuna, make sure you get good pictures of this motherfucker, right? Because you want to get... You know, actually, it's really difficult when you don't see the the reticle. Oh, let me get a picture of this Electro right here. It's pretty good. This one, too. And now, if I look up, get ready. A Zubat's going to come flying out of this fucking door. And it's really hard because the motherfucker moves pretty fast. Mmm. Missed it. Alright. I'm not gonna lie, this area in the game kind of scared me a little bit as a child. Shit. Come on, get close. Ah, fuck. I'm trying to get a good picture. Get it in the middle of the frame. Now turn around, Zubat's gonna come flying through the door. Damn it. I suck. <laughs> Oh, it's always easier to get a picture here, but you want the other You want the other one. Come on in the middle. Come on in the middle. Come on in the middle. There we go. Over here, take a picture of Diglett once. Twice. Not in the middle, so I fucked it up. Wait, where'd you go? Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright. We're gonna come back for it. Don't worry. <laughs> Alright? So you just kinda go on through, cruise about. So yeah, like I was trying to say earlier, this um, <laughs> this area in the game scared me a bit because when I was I was very I was very scary as a child. Okay, so so um, area in the game scared me a little bit, right? Mainly because I love you, Magnemite. Mainly because <laughs> that flying orb. We're gonna see what it actually is, and you know the things associated with that depiction scared the shit out of me, right? So right now, you won't be able to take a picture of these Magnemite because your camera interferes with their magnetic bullshit, right? So they kind of defend themselves from it. I remember I used to make my family get annoyed with me because I would just constantly be like, how the fuck you take a picture of them while the goddamn Magnemite would keep ringing and being super loud. So, one picture, 38 pictures have been taken. Not really that good. Also, in the album, you can save your favorite pictures, which you can then later take to a local blockbuster, which is apparently coming back for some reason. But you take to your local blockbuster and they will have a machine. Some of them will, barely. <laughs> and then uh, you would be able to print out your pictures. That was back in the day before printers were a thing <laughs> that was normalized. Even now, today, most people don't have printers in their home, because when's the last time you need to print something out? That wasn't for, like, I don't know, college or some bullshit. Even in, You don't even need to print shit out for college anymore, right? People just send that to their professors and shit, right? Anyways, so, unfortunately, weren't able to take that many photos here, but I will... Oh, this is a picture of an Electro. Well, I will hand him this Pikachu picture. Right? That Pikachu looks so happy. As for Electrode, eh, hand him this Kakuna picture real quick. As for Electrode, it's a pretty good one right here, full body, right? Electabuzz. Oh yeah, by the way, sometimes you'll come across a picture that might just be straight up grayed out and you can't really hand it to him. That means it's not really valid. Uh, this is the closest thing to Zubat we can get, so, eh. And this is why it scared me as a kid. Uh, for those of you who watch my, another self block here, my Hey You Pikachu Let's Play, there's a moment in the game where you get chased by a haunter, and that motherfucker's big and scary, right? So as a kid, I remember going down the tunnel, it has a little bit of spooky music going on, and then, uh, taking a picture of the orb and just going like, what the hell is that? And then checking the pictures, and I'm like, it's a haunter? And at first it didn't bother me, until I went back into the stage, and I was like, Wait a minute, the implication here is that it's a ghost really close to me, and that I can't really see it until I take a picture of it, and by then it's already too late. <laughs> so Haunter, true to ghosts, and like, you know, 
Ghost in general and all that other crazy shit. And Fatal Frame and shit. Oh, that's a really good one, actually. I'm gonna give you this one. Right? Um... When it comes to Haunter... I think this one was in the middle of the center, right? Yeah, this was in the middle of the frame. I don't think this one counted. Um... So... The little... Kind of, a uh, Attention to detail that they did for the Haunter, which is like the only Ghost Pokemon you'll see in this game. Is that... You won't see what the Pokemon is until you capture its spirit on picture, right? So... And this is what I'm talking about earlier, where sometimes photos will be grayed out because... Professor Oak won't accept it, it's just not good enough. This one, obviously, is a Magnemite, but, you know, we can't really tell because... It's shielding itself. So... Once we're done... Yes. Hand these to Professor Oak and let him... Let him tear our dreams apart. Wow. wow, this is Pikachu on a ball. Pikachu on a ball has a value of 600 points. I don't know where in the po Pokedex you find that, but it's there. Pikachu in the po You have Pikachu in the Pokemon report already, though. How's the size? Eh, it's so-so. I mean, that's the closest I can get to it, Oak. Like, for real. How's the pose? A thousand, man. That's the technique? Okay, the Pokemon's right in the middle, friend. I'll well double it. Well done. Electabuzz. Let me see. This is Electabuzz. How's the size? Eh, whatever. How's the pose? Ten. Not very good. Shut the fuck up, Oak. Kakuna. Let me see. This is Kakuna. How's the size? Oh, you gave that one a 200. What did you give the size? What was the size rating for that fucking Electabuzz? What was it? And you gave this one a fucking 220? You were close. Nothing else, man. I mean, you can't really grade Kakuna on a pose because it doesn't have one. <laughs> so. Electrode. Let's see. How's the size? Hmm, all right. It's very nice. I like those that spherical shape. The pose. Professor Oak. It's a fucking ball. How's the technique? It's in the middle of the frame. Do not grade this more than the one I fucking do not grade this more than the Pikachu picture, please. Wonderful. Zubat. Let me see that Zubat. How's the size? Alright. How's the pose? A thousand. Very nice. How's the technique? Okay, Pokemon- Wait, what? That's in the- That's in the middle of the frame for you? I think this is the best photo I've ever gotten of Zubat ever in my life. Wonderful. What the fuck, Oak? Haunter! Let's see. This is a Haunter. Spooky. How's the size? A thousand, man. How's that pose? I'm sorry that I couldn't get it full on. It was a ghost. It scared me, okay? How's the technique? Alright, right in the middle of the frame. Double that, bad boy. Double that, bad boy. Big boy, bad boy, whatever. Here's a Diglett. How's the size? I don't... I don't... Okay. How's the pose? It's trying to go underground. I mean, I mean, it's all. Oh, it's always underground, Oak. It's always, it's always underground. That's the main thing with Diglett. Nobody knows what it looks like underneath. How's the technique? Nobody knows what a Diglett looks like underneath, despite the fact that they managed to capture it in a Pokeball. And you can just throw that Pokeball into the water or something, and just see what happens. <laughs> It dies instantly. It evaporates. Wonderful. Okay. Wait. Wait, Todd. Let's return to the lab. I'm a chef What else should I be? Please don't take off.